we are once again discussing issues of maximum relevance, such as, for example, the foreign relations of the government of the United States in the second term of President Obama that has just started. We are, as you all know very well, facing a very serious crisis that particularly affects all the Western world and especially in Europe. There are, however, symptoms that are beginning to appear in other parts of the world. But what is most worrying in the particular case of Europe is that this crisis shows a social one with extremely high rates of employment and also an institutional crisis <coughs> of the model and even the future. You are all here today in a city that is fully European and European-minded. The values that inspire the European construction, peace, democracy, dialogue, and harmony are these days more important than ever. There is no doubt that we are undergoing critical times. And if I may say, even ones of emergency. And for this reason, we have to make changes in many levels. Above all, in these moments, we need to make an authentic commitment towards growth and competitiveness. We also need to know how to mix measures of austerity that is, if applied in their just measure, as indispensable, with more active policies for the creation of wealth and especially the creation of jobs. We need to be capable of seeing beyond the immediate problems and to know how to draw a new horizon in the short, medium, and long term, because we have many assets. We, should forget, we, we shouldn't forget that as well as 500 million people, the European Union is the biggest common market in the world and still represents 70% of world commerce. We should also not forget that the Mediterranean is the sea with the largest amount of commercial transit in the world, above all in terms of China's freight. And thirdly, we should not forget that we have an enormous potential for development if we are able to take advantage of it. Many of you who know me well, we have heard me millions of times saying that the way out of the crisis has to be throughout culture, knowledge, creativity, innovation, and welfare, because there is nowhere else in the world, and I say so with all respect, in which these pillars can be some alike in Europe. All of this can make Europe grow again, and I can lead to Europe acquiring a major role in transatlantic relations. Because I have always believed that, to really advance towards a multipolar world of an authentic balance of powers. Europe has to play an essential role. The United States and Europe have to be able to work more and in a more coordinated way on issues essential for both continents, such as security and economic development. We also have to be able to work more closely together to tackle the new situation that has emerged in recent years and that require fast and forceful actions. I refer here especially for the situation of profound change in the southern Mediterranean. The so-called Arab Spring has become an up against many difficulties for generating democratic societies based in the respect for human rights. This situation requires us today more than ever to prioritize the Mediterranean. I always remember that in the 80s from Catalonia, we pressured a lot the Spanish state and the community bodies for Europe to stop focusing on its own center and to look more towards its neighbors from the south. At that time, the wreckage was seen with a certain lack of interest, but the reality of recent years has confirmed that this attention was necessary. Precisely here in Barcelona, we took a very important step 
in the sense with the Euro-Mediterranean summit that lead the so-called Barcelona process. This fix a new roadmap, a new direction that even in not everything that was expected was achieved. I did, however, help a lot of changing the mentality. And also from here, from Barcelona, we didn't want this change of mentality to disappear with the time, but to be turned into tangible actions. And we have done so by giving support to the institutions, such as the Union for the Mediterranean, which has its headquarters here in this palace, the Palace of Pedralbes. And we have also done so by means of bilateral collaborations between different cities, giving more <coughs> emphasis to cooperation and also in the development of projects that boost the social and economic development of countries. Projects such as the boosting of infrastructure, urban planning, and the fostering of entrepreneurships and institutional capacity. Because with the strong pillars, democracy is not possible. Without a society with economic opportunities and with social justice, it's very difficult to democ for democracy to advance. The situation of Mediterranean and in the world in general has shown us that, that what happens in a particular city can have repercussions of a world level. Therefore, the voices of the cities cannot be forgotten. And Barcelona, as a Mediterranean and global city, makes the relations with the cities of the United States, States one of its priorities in international affairs. We are sister cities with Boston and San Francisco. For this reason, and due to the importance that we given to the strength night ties with the United States, I plan to visit the United States in the coming month. I am convinced that it will be a very fruitful trip. In closing, it is not my, my aim to point out all the topics for discussion here for you all are the spares. Yet I am confident that bringing the USA and Europe closer, reinforcing Europe and fostering the transatlantic partnerships can really help all of us move forward. Thank you very much. Welcome to Barcelona and enjoy this city. Thank I you. think we have a nice city and enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you.